Welcome to the uproarious world of F Troop, a classic 1965 TV series that unfolds the comedic misadventures of Fort Courage, a fictional frontier outpost during the post-Civil War era. As you step into this wild and witty sitcom, you may find yourself pondering which classic Hollywood actor in this TV series was your favorite. The ensemble cast, featuring familiar faces from the golden age of Hollywood, adds an extra layer of charm to the show. Before we delve into the random facts that make F Troop a memorable gem, consider reflecting on your cherished memories or personal experiences tied to this timeless series. What moments from Fort Courage still linger in your mind? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's venture into the fascinating world of F Troop. Did you know that the series was set in Kansas but filmed in California's scenic Agra Hills? This unexpected backdrop lent an authentic touch to the Old West shenanigans. Furthermore, F Troop showcased a delightful blend of slapstick humor and satire, making it a standout in the realm of classic television. As you recall the antics of Captain Parmenter, Sergeant O'Rourke, and the rest of the zany cast consider this. The show's unique premise, mixing historical elements with absurdity, contributed to its enduring popularity. F Troop remains a testament to the timeless appeal of good-natured humor. What classic Hollywood actor from the series stole the show for you? Before you share your thoughts, remember, your F Troop stories are the heart of this conversation. We eagerly await your tales in the comments below. Sergeant Morgan O'Rourke's mysterious past in the Mexican War adds an intriguing layer to the 1965 TV series. Throughout F Troop, it's repeatedly mentioned that O'Rourke, played by Forrest Tucker, is a veteran of the Mexican War. However, the show remains silent about whether he or CPL, Randolph Agarn, fought in the Civil War. This enigma surrounding O'Rourke's military history becomes a focal point, leaving viewers to speculate on the untold story behind the character. Adding to the show's legacy is the unexpected casting of Melody Patterson, who was just 16 when she auditioned for her role. Unaware of her chances, Patterson and her mother kept her real age under wraps until just before filming began. The revelation of her youth brought a unique dynamic to the cast and surprised both the audience and her fellow actors. Intriguingly, stars Forrest Tucker and Larry Storch's collaboration extended beyond F Troop. They later worked together in the pre-filmed Ghostbusters series, a TV movie adaptation of the adventures of Huckleberry Finn and segments of Love American Style and Grizzly Adams. This enduring partnership showcases the camaraderie developed on the set of F Troop, leading to further collaborations in the entertainment industry. In summary, F Troop's legacy is not confined to its on-screen tales of the fictional Fort Courage. The unresolved history of Sergeant Morgan O'Rourke's military service, the surprising casting of Melody Patterson, and the lasting collaboration between Tucker and Storch contribute to the enduring charm of this classic TV series. The production of F Troop faced an unexpected halt after two seasons. Forrest Tucker revealed that despite decent ratings, the show was discontinued. The reason? The production company deemed it unworthy of occupying a significant portion of the Warner Bros backlot on a weekly basis. This decision marked the premature end of the series, leaving fans with lingering questions about the fate of the fictional Fort Courage. Interestingly, amidst the diverse cast of F Troop, one notable detail stands out. Frank DeCova, known for his role in the series, was in fact Italian. Prior to filming, he would diligently rehearse and memorize his lines in Italian, adding a unique aspect to his portrayal. This behind-the-scenes insight into Dakova's approach sheds light on the dedication of the cast members and the efforts invested in bringing the characters to life. Adding to the intrigue, Melody Patterson, who played a significant role in the series, was remarkably younger than her co-star Ken Berry. At just 16 years old, Patterson auditioned for her role, managing to keep her real age a secret until shortly before filming commenced. The age gap between Patterson and Barry added an unexpected dynamic to the on-screen chemistry, surprising both the audience and the fellow actors. In summary, the untimely end of F Troop, the Italian influence in Frank Dacova's preparation, and the notable age difference between Melody Patterson and Ken Barry provide fascinating glimpses into the behind-the-scenes dynamics of this classic TV series. These aspects, hidden from the viewer's eye, contribute to the enduring charm and curiosity surrounding F Troop, making it more than just a sitcom set in a fictional military outpost. Larry Storch, the last surviving cast member of the iconic TV series F Troop, passed away on July 8, 2022. His death marked the end of an era, 
leaving fans nostalgic for the show's comedic brilliance. However, beyond the laughter-inducing antics of the fictional Fort Courage, there is a fascinating behind-the-scenes fact that adds a unique layer to the series. Amidst the quirky characters and slapstick humor, Old Charlie, the town drunk, became a memorable presence in the saloon scenes. What many viewers didn't realize was that Harvey Perry, the actor behind Old Charlie, was no young stuntman in old man makeup. In fact, Perry was 65 at the time and boasted a staggering 45-year career as a stuntman. His ability to convincingly tumble through the saloon doors, bounce off support posts, and execute complex falls added a touch of authenticity to the show's physical comedy. This surprising revelation sheds light on the dedication of the cast and the meticulous efforts taken to entertain the audience. Harvey Perry's remarkable stunt work, coupled with the amusing character of Old Charlie, contributed to the overall charm of F Troop, making it more than just a sitcom set in a fictional military outpost. In the world of F Troop, where humor reigned supreme, Larry Storch once shared a humorous tidbit about his co-star Forrest Tucker. Storch, in an interview, quipped, Forrest Tucker is the strongest guy I know. He could pick himself up and throw himself across the room. This playful insight into the camaraderie among the cast members adds a touch of levity to the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the show. As we reflect on the enduring legacy of F Troop, it's worth noting that Larry Storch's passing in 2022 marked the end of an era with James Hampton having passed away earlier in 2021. The show's unique blend of humor, unexpected stunts, and the camaraderie among its cast members continues to resonate with fans, creating a timeless appeal that goes beyond the confines of Fort Courage. In the comical world of F Troop, the Hecaws had a peculiar way of addressing Captain Wilton Parmenter. Chief Wild Eagle and his tribe often dubbed him the Great White Pigeon, emphasizing his unique standing in the Wild West. Alternately, they humorously referred to him as the Scourge of the West or simply as Mr. Nice Guy. Adding a layer of intrigue to the series, the iconic hill featured in the opening credits later gained fame as Walton's Mountain in the Waltons. Both shows shared the same Warner Bros. ranch backdrop, creating an unexpected connection between the fictional worlds. Amidst the laughter, F Troop had a recurring gag involving directions. Characters often received amusing instructions, such as turn right when you see the rock shaped like a bear. Turn left when you see the bear shaped like a rock. This quirky element added a lighthearted touch to the series, showcasing its playful and humorous side. These unique facets of F Troop, from the humorous titles given to Captain Parmenter to the shared backdrop with the Waltons, and the amusing directions contribute to the show's enduring charm. Each detail, though seemingly trivial, played a part in crafting the distinctive and entertaining world of F Troop. The great white pigeon soared through the Wild West, leaving behind a legacy of laughter and memorable moments. As we bid adieu to this nostalgic journey through the comedic landscapes of a certain cavalry post, it's time to let the dust settle and the memories rise. F Troop, a timeless canvas of laughter and camaraderie, has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of television history. As you reflect on the escapades of Captain Parmenter, Sergeant O'Rourke, and the rest of the Misfit Gang, I invite you to delve into the recesses of your own connection with this classic series. Perhaps it's the clever wit that tickled your funny bone or the camaraderie that sparked a warm sense of belonging. Was it the way F Troop artfully blended humor with a touch of absurdity, creating a recipe for timeless amusement? We all have our cherished moments, those scenes that etch themselves into the canvas of our memories. Now is the perfect moment to share those anecdotes, the snippets that made you laugh out loud, or the subtle nuances that lingered in your thoughts. As we traverse the trails of nostalgia, I encourage you to drop your musings and favorite F Troop moments in the comments below. Let's build a virtual campfire where stories are shared, laughter echoes, and the spirit of F Troop lives on. Your reflections add depth to the legacy of this iconic series, and who knows, you might just stumble upon a kindred spirit with a similar tale to tell. Thank you for taking this stroll down memory lane with me. Your time and fondness for F Troop are truly appreciated. Until our next rendezvous with the classics, keep those stories alive, keep the laughter echoing, and remember, the best tales are often those shared.